everyone welcome in to crochet life and stuff with Deborah I am actually Deborah and uh, if you're new here welcome to the madness <laughs> if you've been here before welcome back thanks for coming by I do appreciate it uh, today is vlogtober day 22 22 I had to do that because I was uh, watching while I work I watch videos as well and uh, Cindy the crocheter a I think she does sometimes she's starting to do uh, ASL American Sign Language lessons and she was showing how to do numbers and I was trying to do it along while I was working which you know multitasking hello that was really fun and I'm gonna see if I can find her I'll link her down below because yeah 22 um, also, today I found out I was tagged. I had to write it down and take a note or else I'll forget. Cindy Moulter has tagged me in the uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Pumpkin Challenge. I need to make a Breast Cancer Awareness Pumpkin crochet. That's what I'm going to be doing is crocheting. Um, so there'll be some pink yarn involved. She's got a video. Uh, there's a, I think that there's a tutorial that somebody has posted about it, which is good because I'll kind of need one of those. So I'll be doing that. It'll be a separate video for that. Speaking of separate videos, uh, this weekend there will be a separate video having to do with my 500 subscriber giveaway. Yes, that'll be coming up this weekend. And also, I got my community tab, y'all. I feel like Steve Martin in The Jerk. I mean, I'm, I'm in the phone book. I am somebody now, right? I've got a community tab. So be sure and check that out as well. As you might see in my lap here is my boo bag for my project, which is getting too big to set on my lap and pull out. Get the hook out. I did actually finish my round today. Most of it at lunch, the rest of it during a 15 minute break, I finished it and started weaving in some more ends. I didn't get them all, but I got a couple of them. Uh, let's see. Look at this beautiful colorfulness. Yes. Okay, so yesterday I added the bright pink, which is the grenadine. This is a yellow that I don't remember where it came from. It's kind of a soft yellow and I've used it before. I kind of just, you know, repeat colors that I have until they're gone, which is part of the fun of this. And I have that silver sparkling through there. There might be a little more silver later because I still have a partial uh, yarn ball for that. So, yes, big blanket. <laughs> I am kind of loving it. And, um, yeah, with this, uh, what, nine more days left to add to this, it's going to be pretty huge. And it's going to lay on my bed on display which means it'll probably end up covered in cat hair because yeah he likes to burrow into it so that is the awesomeness of today the not so awesomeness of today um as i've mentioned before <clears throat> the brake lights on my car are currently not operational not because of a bulb or anything like that we have a, a brake switch issue in that car where every three to six months we end up replacing either the brake light switch or a fuse or both. And most of the time it was probably actually a fuse, but we didn't know that. We thought it was the switch. So, thought it was the switch. Or, excuse me, thought it was the fuse. Went to replace the fuse and you, you, know, you put the fuse in there and it just goes, wah, 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 wah. it won't stick in there. Get, I actually took a picture of it with my phone and flash because you have to be about eight inches tall or 10 inches tall and be very tiny to see where these things go. And I looked at it and yeah, does this look burn up to you? And I was, you know, showing the picture because yeah, so we got another replacement fuse box for it, for the interior fuse box. Great. Now we got to figure out how to be 10 inches tall with little tiny hands and big screwdrivers and take the old one out. I hate working on cars. I do. I used to have to do it when I was a kid. I had to work with a, an ex-stepfather that, I mean, even saying the name that I called him, even though it's a Spanish word, I would probably get me, you know, like blocked or whatever. There's that. But, you know, working on cars with the hubby is not bad. He's very patient. He's very sweet and nice. But just, it's just the getting down there. I am nearly six feet tall. And I'm a large person, okay? 
I am not flexible anymore. I was never a gymnast. And I did not keep up any flexibility training, especially, you know, during the last couple of years. We've all been just sitting at home. Yeah. Your girl cannot bend upside down and work on a car, which is pretty much what you need to do here. So, and I can't even find any videos on how to do it. So apparently people are not doing this on the reg. Okay. So, and I can usually, you know, Google foo anything and find it or find a YouTube video for it. Taking out this fuse panel. No, not so much. So, it should be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. There will be more done on that blanket tomorrow, of course. There will also be, uh, I will finish up this week's part of the Pick and Mix Cow. I've actually got five rows of it done. We're normally doing four rows, but this is like a single crochet stitch we've got this week. Not regular single crochet, but you know, it, it's a smaller stitch. So I'll be doing that. I'm gonna add a few more rows to that. And it's easy that this is a stitch I really have been enjoying. So yay. And I will have the link to that cow below as well because Elisa Ladybird Loves is doing an awesome job on her cow and you should join in because she's so much fun. Other than that, here we go, headed to the weekend. I mean, I'll still be working tomorrow some, but, but headed to the weekend anyway. Yes, thanks for coming by. Please hit that like button on your way out if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love it if you stuck around. And uh, tell a friend, we got a big giveaway coming up. It will be a whole separate video in and unto itself sometime this weekend. Bye, y'all.